Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impression slash swatches slash demo of the new Clarence Style 4 pen. It's a four color all-in-one pen which is totally uh, reminiscent, nostalgic of this pen that I used to use, I'm sure everyone, at least who's my age, remembers this pen and I know you can still get it in stores today. This pen kind of blew up on Instagram um, last week. There were so many talks about it. People think it's such a great idea and it's, it's an interesting idea. I... I'm not gonna expect a whole lot of out of this because since it's a pen and there's four four colors, there's three eyeliners, one lip liner in one pen. That means all these liners are super super skinny, like um color pop eyeliners that are super skinny and break super easily. Not to mention, I mean, I remember the the 4-in-1 pen uh, by Bic, that's the actual pen, <laughs> it would always jam. So I'm kind of just curious to see how this will work. I got this from Macy's. I believe it's also available at Nordstrom's and it's $30. And I don't think that's a bad price to be honest. If you're getting three eyeliners and one lip liner for $30, I don't think that's all that bad. So let's jump right on into this. This is my first time opening it, using it and swatching it and let's just see if this is going to be a start of a new trend or not. So when you open the box you see a little instruction sketch right on top of the pen. Let's see if I can decode this or not. <laughs> and then of course you have the pen. The pen is a very very lightweight. It doesn't feel like I'm holding anything. So the colors you have are you have black, brown, blue, nude, and then under each of the pens you have an eyeball if it's an eyeliner and a, a lip for the nude liner. So according to the instructions, all you do is that you press down one of these ones you want to use and then you would twist this. And there's even little arrows on the pen to show you which way to twist the the bottom section of the pen. All it is to it. So first I'm going to do some hand swatches and then I'll get into putting some eyeliner on my eyes. I'm going to try to do a little bit of a nude lip liner. Let's see how this works. Okay so I'm going to start with the black one. So you're supposed to press it down, bring it down, and then okay so a little nib, nub, whatever you call this, did come out, and then you twist the top part. I'm sorry, you twist the top part. It looked like it was on. I guess you keep twisting until you see a liner come out. And there you go. There's a little bit of a black liner. I don't want to wind it so far because, like the Anastasia, brow pencil and I believe probably like the ColourPop eyeliner once you twist it you cannot twist it back so start out with a little bit because um, you once it's twisted you can't twist back so I have a little bit of the black here and there's the black swatch it's um not as creamy um but I mean it's it's just a black liner it's not super creamy and now we'll go to the brown liner Okay, once you press down another color, and not even all the way, the nib will go back in. So now let's press down the brown one, and then a new nib comes out, and then twist the top half. I'm so sorry for saying bottom half. It's the top half right where the arrows are. I have to say this liner is actually... A, just a tad bit thicker than I thought. I thought it was going to be super thin. One that would always break right now. It's alright, but I think as long as you like just do a little bit of a mount, then you won't have breakage problems. So let's do the brown liner. And the brown liner felt really creamy and went on quite well. It's, um, it's a nice light brown. Okay, and now let's do the blue. 
And then here's the blue nib. It's not super pigmented, but it's pretty, so. And now let's do the last one, which is a lip liner, which is a nudie pink. So it's like a nudie beige pink. Um, probably maybe a color that could actually work for everybody. There are the swatches, and let's get to demoing this on my eyes first. So on my eyes, I have the Melt Cosmetics stack in Antique, um, some mustardy brown. So I think the blue one might go quite well with this. So I'm going to try the blue. I think it goes on quite well. Actually, I'm kind of really impressed with this eyeliner. Please ignore the shit lining job I did. I haven't actually used eyeliner in a really long time. But I'm kind of just impressed um, that the liner feels very stable while you're applying it to uh, your eye. I know like the ColourPop one, I feel like kind of wiggles a little bit. Um, but this, the the applicator is really hugging the pen really tightly and now let's try the lip liner i feel like this lip liner mm, it feels a little drying while you apply it but it's all right it's not uncomfortable to um to use <laughs> I think I actually really like this lip color. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think it's a nice nude lip color. Um, overall, I would say that um, I'm kind of impressed <laughs> with this product. I really thought it would suck. It was a cool concept, um, but I thought the execution would not be quite right. I thought there'd be breakage, that there'd be jamming. There was a little bit of jamming when I was swatching my arm. But just make sure when you click a color, like one's down, make sure to go halfway with the other color so the nib pops back and then slide down the desired color. The eyeliners, the lip liner, it's okay. They're all basic colors. They're not top quality, but let's be honest. No one is buying this for the eyeliners. They're buying this because of the concept and the idea, which I was thoroughly impressed with. I hope that Clarins makes more um, different colors would be nice so this could fit everyone's range at least for the nude lip color but this is a good start I'd love to see different finishes as well the only downside that I have with this product is that these are not refillable I'm not sure if these colors are available separately in the Clarins line the other downside is that once you twist the color you cannot uh, twist it back for the color to go back into the pen. Um, overall, I think this is a good product. I love that I don't need to grab three or four or five liners anymore. You got all your basics right here. <laughs> Let me know down below what you think about this pen. I would love to read your opinions. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Remember to love others, but first and foremost, always love yourself because you are beautiful no matter what anybody else says. Bye!